You know when your alarm goes off over and over and you continue to hit that snooze button until you finally get out of bed two hours later? And don't tell me you haven't because I know you all have. Then you eat an unhealthy breakfast because you're too lazy to cook. Then you spend the rest of the day watching TV, putting off all the work because it's not due the next day. Finally, the end of the week comes along and you feel ashamed, regret doing everything and feel like you're not living your best self. This is exactly how I feel a lot of the time. And in fact, I bet most of us do. But the real question is, how do we stop having so many regrets and start living that productive and meaningful life? Furthermore, how do we motivate ourselves into getting off the couch and on to do the things that we've dreamed of doing? So I bit did a bit of research and I found some interesting points that I'm also sure you'll find pretty neat. One of the facts that I found out was that sometimes you can feel unmotivated because you're simply not doing enough. And this may sound strange because most of the time we think we're unmotivated because we are tired and we flat out need a break. And while this is true, sometimes, like Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest stays at rest while an object in motion stays in motion. It's kind of like in quarantine where we don't have much to do. We lose motivation and we don't really want to do anything. But when we start off day with a productive morning routine, which I totally recommend, it sets up your day for total success. It really sets your mind for success and we can keep that movement going and we can continuously transfer it from task to task. In my opinion, one of the most important things to keep yourself motivated is to not do it alone. Do it with a buddy, but not one like this that's going to let you cut the slack, do whatever you want, and if you don't complete it, that's okay, but one like this that's going to make yourself stay motivated, get you to do the things you want to do and need to do. Also, something that works is to have something that you want to prove to yourself or someone else. This works because when we tell someone we're going to do something, we are more likely to commit to it than if we just sort of think about it to ourselves. And remember that you don't have to prove anything to anyone. But if you can't help yourself, then why not use it to your advantage? My mom once told me that I was extremely disorganized for having a messy room and I wanted to clean it later. I just wasn't like in the focus hour that we're going to talk about that in a moment. But anyway, the next day I woke up really early and I cleaned my room and organized everything just to prove that I was not disorganized and I just didn't have a chance to clean it yet. A way to keep yourself motivated and this is more specifically related to school or work or studying is to find the best place that you feel comfortable, motivated, inspired, and not too easily distracted. Also, try to find the best time of day that works and put your best tasks and harder tasks that you feel less motivated to do during that time frame. For me, that is late at night, but sometimes also early in the morning. Set goals and review them often. Your goals can motivate you to keep going, and if you constantly review them, you can feel the progress you are making and not quit halfway through. You also need to find motivation every single day. Change it up. You don't always need to keep it the same. You need to get yourself motivated every single day because if you don't, you will quickly start going back to the old you that just didn't really want to do anything. This goes for deadlines as well. When we have a deadline to do something, we have the motivation to complete it because it's urgent and it probably comes with a consequence if we don't. But what happens to our dreams, wishes, and hopes? They often don't come with deadlines, so they often never happen. So what do we do with these? What do we do with the things that don't need to be done? These things require a lot more motivation to do. And in order to do these things, we need to start off by seeing what it is we need to do and then break it into smaller, more achievable steps. From there, the next thing you need to do is to actually do these things. It's the hardest part. It's 
to start. And so if you do start, try rewarding yourself. And if you don't, give yourself a punishment to threaten yourself. Once you've come past the first and hardest part, the easiest way to keep yourself motivated is to surround yourself with supportive people, celebrate achievements, and do not do it alone. And remember, you can ask for help when you are stuck. It is okay. And I know it's hard, but keep pushing and don't give up. Your future self will thank you for it. And remember that there are going to be days where you feel down. And there are going to be days where all you want to do is sleep. And that's okay. You only have to be your best, not perfect. Just try your best, work hard, don't quit, and try to have no regrets. So why don't you take these tips that I gave you, get up, and go to do the things that you need and want to do. Mother Teresa once said, Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. We only have today. Let us begin. Thank you.